Materia Prima is a pick up and deliver game for two to four players. Players take on the role of alchemists venturing through the world, gathering elements to transmute the Philosopher's Stone. Each alchemist has their own secret quest they are trying to achieve as they hunt for the stone. Players will have homunculi to aid in their journey, but other alchemists won't sit idly by as only one alchemist will have victory. All live footage of the game comes from a prototype and are not representative of the final components of Materia Prima. On a player's turn, they may take actions up to their alchemist's action limit. Generic actions include moving on the map and mining resources from element hexes. Each alchemist has a maximum number of elements they can carry at any given time. In a player's tower, they may transfer elements, equip items, convert their elements, or transmute recipes. It is through transmutation that a player can build equipment, homunculi, and pieces of the Philosopher's Stone. There is a variety of equipment in the game that offers players increases to their stats as well as new abilities. Homunculi offer alchemists both additional actions and more carrying space. Homunculi have their own amount of actions they can resolve each turn. They can move, mine, transfer, and convert elements, and, if they have an attack value, fight. When fighting, the attacker rolls dice equal to their attack, and the defender rolls dice equal to their defense. If the rolled attack value exceeds the rolled defense value, the defending unit is defeated. Defeated homunculi are destroyed, while a defeated alchemist loses their soul stone and is sent back to their tower. An alchemist without a soul stone is stronger and can take more actions, but a player cannot trigger endgame without one in their possession. Players can also research new recipes and purchase extensions for their towers at town hexes on the board. Elements are converted over three tiers with only the first tier elements available on the map. Players will need to collect many elements to convert to the valuable third tier elements, but doing so will allow transmutation of powerful recipes. When an alchemist transmute all three levels of the Philosopher's Stone, they gain it and are on their way to ending the game. When a player has their Soul Stone, the Philosopher's Stone, and completed their secret quest, the game ends and the player with the most points wins. The art of Materia Prima fits perfectly for the feel of the game. The homunculi stand out especially. There is a large variety of potential homunculi to transmute, and they all look as if they were crafted by an alchemist from the elements required for the recipe. The homunculi add an additional level of immersion into the game as they allow players to feel as if they have underlings working for them. Homunculi provide a large variety of potential options to the players, and the idea of automating certain homunculi to become resource gatherers is a rewarding aspect of Materia Prima's gameplay. And, I mean, look at this guy. How can you not love this guy? If you are looking for a pick up and deliver game with a calm theme, Materia Prima is for you. The art style, the homunculi, and the theme of the game provide a relaxing game experience. If you are looking for a game with little downtime between turns, Materia Prima is for you. Players have a large pool of actions on their turn, but everything moves quickly, allowing for a fast-paced game. If you are looking for a game that allows players to feel in control, Materia Prima is for you. There is a large variety of potential actions a player can take on their turn, so players are always in command. Because there is always something strong to do, there are no wasted turns. If you are looking for a game with high replayability, Materia Prima is for you. 24 equipment and homunculi cards, 12 tower extensions, 8 secret quest cards, and a new map layout each game allows playthroughs of Materia Prima to feel different from one another. Materia Prima is an engaging pick-up and deliver game set in a rich world with a fantastic art style to immerse its players. The map changes from game to game, making each experience different. The ability for players to not only control their own figure on the board, but also control any homunculi they transmute provides rich gameplay as players will be able to accomplish a lot on their turns. The longer the game is played, the stronger the players become, allowing for a climactic finish as each alchemist closes in on their secret quest. Victory is uncertain until the very end, leaving excitement high as points are totaled. Hopefully, this has given you a better idea of what Materia Prima is and if the game is for you. If you want to see a gameplay preview, check out the link in the description. 
I'm Justin from Playing Board Games. Please consider liking and subscribing. Have a good one, and as always, GG's. Thank you.